In this lesson, I will be walking through some of the basics of using the Timeline tool and creating animations. First, let's open the Timeline tool. First, go to the menu at the top and then click on Window. Then go down to the bottom of the submenu to Timeline and click it. If the Timeline panel is in Frame Animation mode, click the Convert to Video Timeline. Next, we need to specify the timeline duration and frame rate. Duration means how long the video clip will be. And frame rate, or frames per second, is usually determined by the type of output you want. I usually like to stay between 24 and 30 frames per second. And to do that, you will set the timeline frame rate in the panel menu. Now let's add a new layer and then create an object that could be animated. So for this one, I'm just going to use a circle. Now let's dive into the features of the timeline tool. First step is to click the down arrow to display the layer's properties. Animation is created by changing the properties over time. Depending on the type of layer, the properties will be different. For this layer, we have position, opacity, and style. Position will adjust the position of the object in the frame. Opacity will adjust the transparency of the layer, which we can use to make an object disappear or fade in. And then style allows us to adjust the fill of an object. Another common property is the transform property, which allows you to not only adjust positioning, but also adjust the size of an object. If you have a layer that doesn't have transform, you can convert it to a smart object, and then that will then give you the transform property. Now we're ready to create our first animation. Go down and click the stopwatch next to the property name to set the first keyframe for the layer property you want to animate. Next, we will move the current time indicator to a new frame, and then we will change the layer property. And so in this situation, I want the circle to move. So I'm gonna move that current time indicator, and then I'm just gonna move the object. And then there you have it. We just made our first animation. Next, Let's preview our animation. Here we have different play controls, which allow us to play or pause the animation. We also have the ability to adjust the playback quality, which can be helpful if you have a slower computer to go and use either like 50% or 25%. And then when it's time to save your animation, we have a couple options. The first is to save as an animated GIF using the save for web command. We also have the option to save as an image sequence or a video using the render video command. And I will show you this process in more detail later in the exporting lesson.